Hello and welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are discussing the Indira Gandhi MA Statistics paper. In this question, we are given a circle which is having an equation of x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equal to 0 and we are asked to find the radius of the circle. So, let us arrange this equation in the form that will give us this, uh, uh, the uh, center and the radius. So, we can write this as x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 4y plus 4 minus 16. Now, why did I do this? Because from 6x, I know that I can write this as 2 into 3x. So, therefore, x is one term and 3 is the other term. So, I have to get a 3 square here. So, which is why I, I brought in plus 9. Similarly, 4y is 2 into 2 into y. I have y here and I need a 2 square. So, that is why I brought a 2 square here. So, 9 plus 14 is 13 plus 13 and I have minus 3 here. So, I have to subtract 16 to make it minus 13 overall. So, this is equal to 0. So, therefore, x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square is equal to 4 square. 16 can be written as 4 square. So, therefore, the center of this circle, center of the circle will be given by x equal to 3 and y equal to minus 2 and the radius of the circle will be equal to 4. So, number 1, option number 1, 4 is the correct choice. In the next question, we are given two variables, x in terms of y and y in terms of t. And we are asked to find the derivative of x with respect to t. So, we have to write x in terms of t. So, x is equal to 1 plus y whole to the power minus 4 and y is minus 2 log t. So, we can write x as 1 minus 2 log t whole to the power minus 4. So, now if we do a derivative of x with respect to t, we will get minus 4 into 1 minus 2 log t whole to the power minus 5 into derivative of 1 minus 2 log t with respect to t which will be minus 2 by t. So, now we rearrange this. So, this becomes 8 by t into 1 minus 2 log t whole to the power 5. Now, in place of minus 2 log t, we will write y plus y. So, this becomes 8 by t into 1 plus y whole to the power 5. So, now we see the options. In option 3, we have 8 by t into 1 plus y to the power 5, which is the correct choice. In the next question, we are asked to find the limit of this function as theta tends to 1. So, we have to write this function as uh, limit theta tends to 1 c to the power 1 minus theta c to the power 1 minus theta minus 1 by 1 minus theta. So, we can write 1 minus theta is equal to x. So, as theta tends to 1, x tends to 0. So, we can write this as limit x tends to 0 c to the power x minus 1 by x. Now, you see if we replace uh, x equal to 0 in this function, we will get 0 by 0. So, therefore, we have to use La Hospital's rule here. La Hospital's rule, 
which means we have to take the differential of the numerator and the denominator. So this is limit x tending to 0. Differential of the numerator would be ddx of c to the power x minus 1 and differential of denominator would be ddx of x. Now, we have to find the differential of c to the power x minus 1. So, we have to do it separately. So, let c to the power x minus 1 is equal to y or c to the power x equal to 1 plus y or x log c is equal to log of 1 plus y and log to the base e. So, therefore, if we take differential of both sides, then we get uh, log c dx is equal to 1 by 1 plus y into dy. So, therefore, dy dx dy dx is equal to log c into 1 plus y or uh, we can write this as 1 plus y as cx. So, this is equal to c to the power x into log c. So, therefore, this becomes limit x tending to 0 ddx of c to the power x minus 1 would be cx c to the power x log c which we have got here over 1. So, therefore, now we can put the value of x equal to 0. So, c to the power x will be 10 to 1. So, limit of x tending to 0 c to the power x log c will become equal to log c. So, option number 5 which is log c is the correct choice.